In looking over the condition of nature on our planet today, we can gain an appalling insight from research recently published in the United Kingdom. A startling report on wildlife decline on that island region comes from the National History Museum in London. It might be considered a harbinger of what we can assume is true in every other country and continent in our world. The causes of the disaster are considered by these experts to be the usual suspects, including habitat loss, risky agricultural management, and warmth from climate change. We could just as well add the loss of clean, clean drinking water. The report describes seven major habitats which represent the United Kingdom and proceeds to tally the loss percentages of various natural species studied for a long time in those areas. In farmland habitat, for example, 60% of the 1,064 species there has decreased including 14% of all flowering plants. In lowland grassland of 923 species, 65% has declined. Of interest in this habitat, the warming of the climate may have benefited some of the creatures. In woodland, 60% have declined even though the total area of woodland has increased due to planting of more trees. In wetland, 57% have declines. Many freshwater species are in serious trouble, and I would suggest much of this is due to water pollution. In urban habitat, the increasing development has harmed species. In marine climate, change may be affecting breeding sites. Finally, in upland habitats, the report shows more species have become extinct than in any other habitat. It's not hard to adapt these percentages to similar habitat in various countries around the world. When the numbers of creatures affected are totaled, we can more easily see the serious condition of our planet's nature in today's world. You got that right.